Good morning. It's Saturday, September 15th, right here. Is the seat of New York State Senator Shirley L. Huntley, who's been voted out of office, thanks to me, thanks to me, who put evidence in the hands of the Attorney General's office back in January 2011, and New York State Senator Huntley no longer in business. And why is that? That's because it was found that she was funding money to a nonprofit. There are also allegations that when she wants to have her flyers put out, she, she gives homeless people low to nothing instead of hiring people to work on her campaign. Also, she neglected veterans. She didn't do anything to help me. As a matter of fact, they played games with me. So did every office of every black elected official in Southeast Queens, New York. Every black elected official of Southeast Queens, New York, and this is their bedrock. This is Jamaica Avenue. This is where all the downpour, downtrodden colored Negroes come to shop for second, third class goods, cheap stuff that are owned by all these carpet baggers that are selling this cheap crap all over Jamaica Avenue, these poor people. And the Yiddish landlords are making a killing of all these buildings that they own and not giving back anything to the community other than pure racism. When they put these Spanish supers in and these Spanish supers will help rent to Hispanics and They'll send the black people, these poor black people will be sent to the office for the credit check they can't pass, but an, uh, an undocumented immigrant that, go ahead and get some a tax ID number, if he got that, slips a super five, six hundred bucks, and they get an apartment and you have now the largest migration of black people back down south and that's because that's because Hispanics are coming into town they're putting five, six, eight people where it's room for one or two black people, according to an American standard, they'll pay the landlord more rent. The landlord's happy because he's got all these people working for slave wages, and that's the new America. That's the face of the new America. And black people went from second class the fifth because everybody jacking their stuff and their black elected officials don't know what to do or how to do it if you go to a black elected officials office you're going to find you a very attractive black young lady who's bloodline ignorant uneducated wearing tight clothes that's two three sizes smaller than she should be wearing and this whole hair thing, and it's just an abomination. Okay, now, a lot of black people say you shouldn't say that, or you can't expose that about us. It's not our fault. We've been slaves so long. We're going to stay slaves. The whole idea is to be poor and black and crazy. That's it right there. That, that's it right there. That's it right there. Then you want to show me Jay-Z. You want to show me Pete Diddy. Look, 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 look. Hello. Hello. People that get up and do something with their talent, do something with their stuff, got the right to everything they got. All right? They're black. They ain't, ain't got to do nothing for their poor down trying to come to brothers because there ain't no unity about nothing. 
Uh, I'm black and proud. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You, you proud of what? What are you proud of? Are you proud of your black president? Congratulations. He don't know you. He don't know you exist. Did you get money? You didn't get that black Democrat money. You, you're not getting nowhere. You're not getting nowhere. All right? The first lady. Go ahead. I'll try to write to her soon. Bye-bye.